it is Saturday and I'm really excited because today is going to be a full exploration day for me. I even made up a whole list, like check it out. First off, we're gonna go to a coffee place called Soil Soil, which I've been waiting to go to. So follow along with me and I'm so excited. Just a side note, I was gone for a really long time because I had to study for board exams to get my pharmacy license and everything. There's a series of board exams that you have to take to get through them. And uh, it was so stressful, but this is the first week where I don't have to worry about that. I got all my licensing and everything taken care of. I do like to keep the pharmacy side kind of separate from my vlog kind of side, but that's just what's been going on. And I'm really excited because I don't have to study this weekend. Ah! Our first stop today is Soil Soil Cafe, and when you walk in, you're immediately hit with the most adorable display case full of little desserts that are cat and bear shaped, and they are honestly so cute, I highly recommend getting one. And then for those of you who love kawaii themed items, this is not only a cafe in the front, but also a mini shop in the back full of the cutest plushies, as well as mugs and little knickknacks that you can get for you and your friends. While I was there, I got a latte with a cute little bear on it, as well as a strawberry waffle to enjoy for my breakfast. So I highly recommend checking this place out to hang out with any friends or get yourself a little latte and let's move on to the next place. Our next stop is going to be Portland Japanese Garden and oh my gosh, it is such a popular place on the weekends. Make sure to get there early like I did around 10.30 or so because it gets quite busy. The whole garden was extremely peaceful and serene and everyone was really respectful of everyone else there and it was just a really good long morning walk enjoying all the different things the garden has to offer. is the Hoyt Arboretum. This is kind of the hub for many different hiking trails where you can see the Arboretum essentially of different plant collections as well as where they're from and it is really peaceful here. I took a short walk because once again I wasn't wearing the right shoes and wasn't dressed right. Why am I always doing that? If you're really in touch with nature and love different trails I would definitely recommend this and plus it's not too hard on the knees or anything. It's very walkable. You guys will also not believe what I found so I was in the shaded dark forest area and I came across this shiny little field full of flowers and I immediately thought of twilight when Evelyn felt like go out to the flower fields and I just had to take some pictures here and everything. Ah! I was such a fan girl at that point. I went like straight into that field and it was really lovely. I recommend the Hoyt Arboretum if you just want to go for a nature walk. I just came back from the Arboretum and the next stop is the library, so let's go. We are at the Hillsdale Library and I used to go to the library all the time when I was a teenager as well as in college, but I kind of stopped going because of all the studying I had to do, but now I'm trying to get back into reading. These are the books that I checked out. They're all sequels, I believe, and I read the first book of each one, so I can't wait to get through these. I don't know if I'm going to finish them, but I am going to try to read them. Tell me if you guys like these books too or not. We are finally stopping for food next. We are going to be going to Ramen Ryoma located at the Uwajimaya Asian Market in Beaverton. This restaurant can get really popular so make sure to get yourself on that wait list early because I waited about a half an hour but I think for larger parties it might go on longer. I ended up getting the shoyu ramen with pork and egg and it was so delicious. I always judge a ramen by its broth first and the broth was just perfection. The staff there were really nice and I fully and thoroughly enjoyed my meal while I was there. 
Before you leave, don't forget to stop at the Wajimaya Japanese Market right next door. They have a lot of Japanese as well as other Asian goods and groceries. Inside is also the Kuni Koya Bookstore which has all kinds of books going from picture books, different Japanese books, as well as little knickknacks that you can enjoy. I honestly love these types of stores because they have all kinds of stationery and cute little plushies and notebooks and items that you can get. I stopped by the hot food section to get some little snacks for dinner and I ended up getting some spam musabi and I'm so excited to eat that for dinner. Wrapping up at our last stop for today, we are going to be going to get boba at Milk Plus Tea Station. This shop is special because not only can you get different types of tea, they also make different ice cream type shakes along with your boba. I decided to get a jasmine green tea with some matcha cheese foam on top and some boba of course and it was so refreshing, a perfect way to end my day. This was also located in Beaverton so you can check it out right after going to the Wajimaya shop. We just got back, it's about 5 p.m. now and it has been a really long day. Thank you for coming along with me. So we got through so much today, honestly guys. Went to a cafe and then the Arboretum and then the Japanese garden. We went all around town today, I'm proud of myself. Um, I did not get to Hearthorn today, but I promise you guys Sunday tomorrow and I'm gonna go tomorrow. I'm really tired today, so what I think I'm gonna do is take the books that I got from the library and go onto my balcony in my apartment and just really enjoy reading and everything. So I'll see you guys tomorrow and then I'll bring you guys to more places in Hawthorne. So thanks for following along with me.